Hi all, I'm Nancy Waldeck. Welcome to my healthy kitchen and welcome to Hydration 101. Shane and I have been thinking about this warm southern, summer weather and we know that everybody needs to be hydrated because, well, for a lot of reasons, even just to feel good. So I've got four recipes for you today that are so delicious, so easy, so good, and they'll definitely keep you hydrated. We're gonna start with a soup, and this is one of those soups that can be served either chilled or it can be served warm. So in my pot right here, I have some olive oil and some red onions that I've been cooking down for a while. The whole kitchen smells like onions that are caramelizing, yum. Next up, I'm gonna put in some garlic. So I've grated my garlic with a microplane and I'm gonna put it in after I have already uh, caramelized or cooked the onions down for a little bit. So there goes my garlic. And you know, I'm gonna stir it and I know when that garlic is cooked because it just releases the most beautiful aroma. And oh, I can smell it right now. So I've got my um, pot over about medium heat right now. And so, oh wow, it just smells so good. I wish y'all were here with me. So I've got just a couple other ingredients that are gonna go in here. I've got some herbs and spices because of course we always love putting herbs and spices in our food because you know that's going to add more nutrition and flavor. So I've got some Herbe de Provence here and that's kind of the cousin to the Italian um, Italian seasoning. Uh, Herbe de Provence has many of the same herbs in there as well as sometimes a little lavender, some orange peel. So there goes the Herbe de Provence just adding to the aroma in the kitchen. Next up I've got some turmeric. Now I learned to make this recipe in Provence and um, and even in Provence they use turmeric and we're gonna add some black pepper now into, I'm sorry, what, did I say turmeric? I meant cumin. Okay, we're gonna add some black pepper in now and because we're using some canned products today, we're not gonna even add any salt in here. Um, you know, uh, Provence is part of the Mediterranean uh, lifestyle. So things like cumin are not unusual um, because they are carried over from Greece and Sicily and Spain and France and all those wonderful Mediterranean countries. So I've got some freshly ground black pepper in there. And so that's it for my spices. Now what I wanna do is I wanna start putting in my ingredients to make it a tomato soup. And to do that, the first thing I'm gonna put in is a can of fire roasted tomatoes. Now, if this was not June, but if it was August and we had all these gorgeous, fresh, big, juicy tomatoes, I'd absolutely say you could use fresh tomatoes. But you know, crushed, canned, fire roasted tomatoes are a great substitute. You can even get this um, brand with no salt. And I like the crushed ones for this because the crushed ones kind of literally just dissolve into the soup. So uh, I call for two 15 ounce cans in my recipe. You can use one 30 ounce can or I think it's 29 ounces. So there we go. Now it's gone in. And next up, I'm gonna put in about four and a half cups of tomato or vegetable juice. So I'm using that literally instead of my stock today. And that vegetable juice or tomato juice, try to get it with either no salt added or low sodium because um, by the time we use the tomatoes and the tomato juice or vegetable juice, we're getting some salt in there. And you know, even if we don't have high blood pressure, it's a really good idea to cut down on our salt intake because we get it from everywhere, right? Okay, oh, it's smelling so good. Next up, I'm gonna put in a couple of roasted red peppers that I've just chopped up. And so you can, of course, buy roasted red peppers, but they're so easy to make. I actually have a uh, video on my YouTube channel, which you're watching this also on um, my YouTube channel. So you can um, easily find out how to roast your own red peppers or yellow or orange peppers. So there we go. Now my soup 
is going to sit and burble away while I make something special for the soup. You could, of course, just serve it like this. Delicious. However, we're going to really kick it up a notch by putting in some basil pesto. Now, since this is a Provençal tomato soup, um, we, they call it pisto 